All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. And if you're new here, welcome to the family slash channel. So this is gonna be honest opinion. This is a more of a, my redo review for 2020, uh, 2019's Carnival Row season one. Um, I'm redo doing this one over because I did it way back when I started out in 2019 and my stuff was super bad back then. I'll have a picture, but. Uh, and they finally got around to doing a second season this year, so I don't know how many, like, four or five years has passed. Um, pro I think I heard something about COVID being a problem, uh, of the big problem of it. Um, but yeah, it's their final season. Um, so here is the plot, though. A growing population of mythical immigrant creatures struggles to coexist with humans after the creature's exotic homeland are invaded by empires of man. The creatures are forbidden to live, love, and f or fly with freedom. A human detective investigates a string of gruesome murders, threatening the uneasy peace of the road. Here are some of the casts. I do remember bits and pieces to the story, to be honest, but not much. So pretty much uh, new to me in a way. However, a lot more heavy political and race-related undertones to the story than I remember. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, if you watch The Expanse, you know anything with the books, they're heavily on political stuff. So it just kind of depends how far they go with it. But it is based on a book based uh, heavily on war and immigration, at least from my quick Google search. Now, to explain the look of the world to you, it's if 1800s Victoria, England bleeded into 1940s New York, why mythical creatures was thrown into the mix. Honestly, it was super captivating to look at. It was super, it was very impressive how well they did the CGI with the movement of the fairy swings. The story itself was good, but did feel a little too long. I don't know if they was in the book, but the snobby rich sister and rich goat guy love story part of the story felt filler and really not needed. Everyone did a fantastic job, however, I really didn't care for actor Jared Harris acting personally felt forced at times. Here is my reading, I'll come back to my final thoughts. Now, I believe I gave this originally 5 out of 5, which is clearly not honest, which is not surprising at that time. Uh, don't get me wrong, I still liked it a lot. It just felt a little too filler with the love story around the rich couple. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you saw it or just in general, from what you've heard from me. Uh, that is really all I got for you. Uh, it definitely did get a little boring because I already kind of knew the end uh, plot to it. So, you know, it is what it is. But, uh... Definitely not as good as I remember it was. Um, definitely wouldn't have naturally went and, wa went and watched it again. Um, I'm definitely going to be watching the second season when it all comes out. But I'm not going to do a review on it. I mean, there might be a chance I might do it, but there's probably not going to likely going to happen. Um, uh, just more of a, a watch it for closure. Um, so uh, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and skull.